What's going on guys, I'm Fired Kid here and today I'm bringing you uh, information um, based on the uh, Gamescom 2014 about Halo. So, on the screen now you're seeing an advert for the Halo channel. Basically, it could be a possible takeover from, um, taking over from Halo Waypoint, but it's going to include stuff like um, bulletins, um, Twitch streams, in-depth analysis to do with um, Nightfall, and um, information on characters in it. Uh, the social media features like Twitter will be um, implemented into it. Uh, as you can see on screen now, the Twitch stream looks absolutely amazing. It has all of the um, analysis of the game of going on, which is a, sort of like a spectator mode, if you like. But I'm not calling it that because I'm not going to call it a spectator mode until they put that in the game. So as you can see now, um, there was there was a bit about uh, um, lock, and there is also chances to um, unlock stuff within in-game, uh, added to an in-game experience. You can also see uh, stats, and perhaps it might even include a top five plays, because there's a little top play five plays bit, and this is actually available on tablet and PC. And hopefully, it's a big success. It certainly looks quite good. You can see it's aesthetically pleasing, and I feel that it it could be a big hit. It could be a slump. It really goes either way, to be honest with you. Um, but it, it basically is just the information hub for Halo. Like all those bulletins, you'll be able to view on there on your PC or tablet. Uh, next, Halo uh, Halo 2. Um, now, um, the Halo 2, um, there's new audio within it. Uh, the, the rocket launcher actually now locks onto it. So that's pretty cool. The, the, the rockets now actually um, uh, actually lock on, at just like the original game. Also, um, the, apparently, according to the players, it's smoother. It's running at 60 frames per second. However, it does play exactly the same as the old game. So that's obviously a massive advantage they've got there. That it actually um, actually is playing like a, an old Halo, really. So, obviously, that's just, quite frankly, amazing. Um, uh, yeah, different lighting effects, but there, are, there is Sanctuary, the new competitive map that has been released. So, um, I'm going to stop talking now. This is a competitive game between Strong Side, uh, Strong, <laughs> strong Side Pistola, uh, oh my god, Flame Sword, and Walshy. And I'll be back after that's finished. What happens? Alright, let's hop into the match. Teams for the match are going to be Walshy and Strongside going up against Pistola and Flamesword. And we're starting things off here with Flamesword's point of view as he pushes down to the middle of the map. Now remember, Bravo, one thing you want to do is deny the enemy team possession of the rockets off the break. So Flamesword did a great job of that. But jumping over to Strongside here, who has a sniper rifle, he's going to miss two shots, sending one nade forward. Can't quite find the other one as well. But there is going to be a player pushing ring one. Yeah, it looks like that's Flamesword who snuck ring one. He's going to try to grab that rocket launcher and actually does steal the rocket launcher, misses the first rocket on Strongside, and pushes him back. Yeah. And oh, tried to go for the quick scope there, couldn't quite find it. But jumping back to Flame Sword now, who actually has the rockets. He wastes two before, finds one there. That's going to make it one to zero for the double. Oh. Yes, and he's able to get it, making the score two to one. And now switching gears over to Strong Side, who's off the respawn just over a minute left. And as you said, his team is down by one, immediately pushing towards the middle of the map. I like what he's doing here with his ring three vantage point. Oh, I couldn't agree more with you, Bravo. Here he's going to find one player down at the bottom. Perfect nade placement, able to take him out. And can he line up the double kill? Oh. Yes, he can, making it. Three to two, red team in the lead. And now switching over to Pistola. One minute left on the clock, but his team is down by one kill, so he wants to slow things down just a bit. He needs to coordinate an attack with Flamesword as they push towards the middle of the map. Putting some shots down on Walshy, but does get sniped from the right side. That's going to force him to drop down. Let's switch over to Strongside, who has the sniper rifle. Yeah, and with that said, he has the game in his hands as well. Three to two is the score. Let's see what Strongside and Walshy can do here as they have control of the center of the map. There is going to be a player, though, ring two, finding one, oh. two switch with body shots and that's going to make it four to three strong side can shut the game down oh and he hit the no scope for the win game over so guys as you saw there absolutely clutch from strong side there one of the best snipers in the whole competitive circuit but um as you as you saw there um halo 2 is really tailored to uh, competitive play once again um, but on to Halo 5 first of all it's very early beta ridiculously early um, I think it ends in December or starts in December I'm not sure um, but the idea is it, of it is that 343 really want the feedback um, they want as much feedback from the community as they can because they want to create the perfect game and it's said here that um, 
they described it as a 4v4 arena gameplay. So you're looking at all, all, proper old style Halo. And there's no loadouts. Everyone will start with the same weapons on the same map. Well, obviously same map. But that is a that is a massive... I can't tell you how much of a bonus that is. It's ridiculous how good that is that... Um, uh, that everyone starts on the same like, playing field. Uh, there's seven new, seven maps in the beta, which is pretty insane, including uh, one Skyline sort of theme map. I think that was like the concept heart we got earlier, uh, really early on. It kind of looks like that. And also a remake of Midship. Uh, there are also three game modes, and uh, Slay will be one of them, and the others are undisclosed as yet. Uh, 11 weapons, sniper rockets, SMG, AR, DMR, BR are currently confirmed with Sword as well confirmed because it was placed on midship, so that's confirmed. Um, they said that they're tailoring the gameplay to uh, proper old style, so like uh, quite small maps and running at 60 frames per second. And on the um, oh, what's it called? Oh my days! At the Halo channel, they've got um, you can unlock unlocks <laughs> in the beta which actually carry on to the main game which would be pretty sick also you get you can actually customize your uh, your armor which is pretty sick anyway guys that's all from me this is a sort of a roundup slash thoughts on the uh, news we've got a gamescom today absolutely spectacular hashtag we back um like subscribe twitter and twitch and i'll see you guys all next time peace out